Hi everyone, I'm very happy to be here tonight and share one of my stories with you. My name is Kevin and three years ago I founded a company called Jaywalker Digital. And what we do is called data science. So we analyze large amounts of data, so we try to find new patterns and generate insights that aren't visible for the human eye. So therefore, we need very specialized people, so-called data scientists. And a data scientist is made out of many different skills. He knows about software development, about statistical analysis, about communication, also about presentation and project management. So imagine how hard it is to find these people today. So what we do, or what we did, we were looking in job description, how they are made of, and you really don't find the data scientist. That was really hard for us because we as a startup relied on the most talented people and the people that not only fulfill our skill set, but also our culture. And it was really unsatisfying to see how that works today. And they're mostly made of hard skills, these job description. So you have to have a master's degree, you, know to, you need to know how to develop in Python and stuff like that. So it wasn't very useful for us. And today I would like to share my story with you, how we changed that. So we grew real quick. We grew from three to 17 people within two years. And we had many challenges to solve during that time, of course. But the most challenging one was we were at the point where we jumped from one project to the other. And always the most urgent project was the one we were working on. And we were thinking, like, why do we spend so much time spending that much energy in our office and we always do the same and the same again and we never reach the next level? And so what we did, we sat down, and what probably everybody of you did already is like a strength and weaknesses analysis about themselves. So knowing your strengths, your weaknesses, we all know that. And we tried to get a little bit a uh, different way. So what we did is like, I asked my team, please sit down, everybody, and then t uh, take a piece of paper and write on the top things that give me energy, and on the lower part, things that take me energy. And the things that give you energy are the ones that go real quick. You don't have to think about them. They just flow, and you love doing them. The things that take energy from you are at that point where your stomach starts to crumble, and you, you don't feel well, and you always postpone it. So we did it. And as a software company that loves sharing things, we shared also these, um, these analyses that we did about ourselves. And it really changed the whole way of how we do business today. Because today, when we get a new project, or for example, there is a new task to solve, or there is another challenge we face with our company, we know exactly which person we have to put at which place, and which person will be thriving doing it. So that was a, a huge learning I had. But even though one year later I faced another challenge, I was managing way too many clients. And at the same time, I had to take care of 16 people in our company. So I felt that I can't put all my time into things that give me energy when I feel comfortable. I had to do way too many things that I didn't feel well. And so I thought with all the learnings we had, maybe we could change that too. And I would like to encourage you to do this little experiment with me. So you all got a piece of paper and a pen in your gift bag, or already on your desk, so please take it out. And on a page, please write the huge title, Things That Take Energy From Me. And try writing down a few bullet points. I will give you a few seconds for that. And don't forget the title, Things That Take Energy From Me. So regarding to time management, this was a little bit of an unfair challenge, I know. 
we took, for us, it took half an hour to do that, but just keep to what you have written down now. So I did the exact same thing at that point. So I know I needed somebody to, repl uh, to add uh, some more skills of things that I don't like doing. So I sat down for half an hour and wrote down about 10 to 12 bullet points. And now would I encourage you, please take your pen and strike through the title and write on top your strength. So that's what I did. So I changed the title of my weaknesses to somebody's strength and I put it online. And it took me 24 hours until I got an email saying, Kevin, in your job profile, you mentioned everything I love doing. I was shocked. I was like, how could somebody love doing these things? I can't believe it. So I said, oh, uh, we have to meet probably. I want to get to know you. I want to know who you are, if that person really exists. So we met. We sat down together for two hours, and we left the meeting room with that feeling that we knew it was the perfect match. And we keep doing it exactly the same way. And our recent three employees, we find that way. And they are simply perfect. They are filling all our gaps. And it's not anymore about the hard skills that we check. It's about the things that the missing gap to fill it. And to use their full potential or our weaknesses as their full potential and, and somehow complete the whole profile of our company. And that was my biggest learning, let's say. I had to control or delete my mindset. I had to control my beliefs, what I thought would be right or wrong, or how it should be done. I had to alternate it. I had to find new ways, like the one you did now, or we did now all together. And I had to delete all my old beliefs that I had of how things should work. And I don't want to restrict that method uh, only to the field of business. Just imagine what you could do if doing this within your sports team or before starting a group project at the university, or maybe even in your relationship. So for me, it changed a lot in how I work together with people. And I would really like to encourage you to take these things. You now just had to start, you know, uh, you, you already know a few things. So maybe you could even share it in the break after some presentations within everybody, if you would like to. So try it out and see what happens. It will hopefully also change a lot uh, in your life, and I'm really, uh, I'm really uh, curious to hear your stories. Thank you so much.